really been coerced. Overruled. Since this is a hearing, I'm going to be as lenient as I can. Please continue, Mr. Martin. Accident. The one she had in Antonia, Missouri, after she fled land. Objection, Your Honor, Sustained. to the defendant. Get on with it, Mr. Is there, there any proof brother, that the John? voice on that tape is, in fact, that of Mrs. D. Savoy's father? Your Honor, this tape will prove conclusively that what has been happening to me and what has been happening to Echo is a direct result of Arthur Stanford's insane need for revenge. Your Honor, I must object. No one is on trial here for conspiracy. No one is on trial here, period. Now, Mr. Buchanan, in the interest of simplicity, I allow you to examine the witness. But please be advised, sir, that you are not a lawyer and your behavior here is not acceptable. Your Honor... Play the tape, sir. Miss Van Druten. Maybe next time you wait till you find a dead body before you start oh, prosecuting this somebody isn't for over murder. Oh, yet, Mr. Buchanan. Uh -oh. The judge has agreed there's every possibility the Countess suffered amnesia because of her near brush with death. Mm. And until we find out otherwise, which I strongly doubt, I'm asking for attempted murder. What are you going to do when you find out you're dead wrong? Apologize? Please do. See, I knew she was going to see him. I was very worried about that. So I decided I would drop everything and drive up there to see what was going on on that bridge. But I got there too late. Because he'd already pushed her over and dove in himself. Luckily, I kept my head. And I raced down the river road and I found her fighting in the water. I dove in to save her. And when I got out, I don't know, I slipped. I fell, something hit me on the head. Anyway, I passed out. She took me to a clinic and then she left town. And you had no idea where she was? No, not until this morning when I found out that she had mysteriously wandered in with some supposedly uh, case of amnesia. No, 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 not supposedly, Mr. Morgan. According to Dr. Vernon, it's quite genuine. Yeah, well, you just wait a minute. Don't you believe that for a minute. Let me tell you something about my sister that you might not know. She happens to be very much in love with Clint Buchanan, and she'd do anything, anything, lie, anything to protect him. Have you talked with her? No, of course not. I wouldn't dare. But I'll tell you something. You get her on the stand, you break her, and she'll come through with the truth. She'll remember everything. And uh, precisely what does that mean, Mr. Morgan? It means exactly what it says. The truth is the truth. He tried to kill my sister. How do you know that? Because he's threatened her before. She told me. She told me he's done it many times. You see, he didn't want to get rid of his family and his kids, but he did want to get rid of her. And what better way than to throw her in and drown her? You get her on the stand. You badger a pressure, a breaker, and I promise you, you'll hear the truth. And then you'll get exactly what you're after. Clint Buchanan will have a defense in the world. Genki, what can... For me? Yeah, it's a wonderful show. Stunning, really. I I'm still in shock, really. Well, I'm delighted that you liked our show, Mrs. Buchanan. It was beautifully written, and, and Lottie Lee, well, I think that it's the best thing I've ever seen her in. Really? Do you think so? Oh, no question. You know, I bet you've been told that you could have a career in the theater. Do you really think so? I have no idea. All I said was I thought that you'd been told that. Are you teasing me, Mr. Lehman? You know, I was beginning to think the very same thing. I don't understand. No, of course you don't. That's because I have an advantage over you. You see, I know Lottie Lee didn't perform tonight. And you don't. So you didn't see my show. But that's perfectly all right. I'm delighted that you were here. I'm sorry. I just wanted to see you so badly, and I, and I didn't know any other way to go about it. Miss Lehman, I'm sorry. Please forgive please, me. Please, please. Consider yourself forgiven. I, I mean, I just know how unapproachable you are. Nonsense. And I thought that I, that I should take this chance. Well, why did you want to meet me, Mrs. Buchanan? Because I'm a performer, and you're a producer. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 
And, and I thought that if you could just meet me, if you could see what my real talents are, then, then you might decide to put me into one of your shows. I don't know if you need investors. Oh, always. Well, my husband is Bo Buchanan, and I know that he would invest in anything that I suggest. My, my, my. You are an irresistible package. I want to perform for you. <laughs> I thought you already were. No. Not yet. Well, you have my undivided attention. I'm sorry, I really have to take that. Yes. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Lehman. This is Brad Vernon at, at the front desk. I, I was just wondering, is there any... Uh, would you know if Delilah Buchanan is, is there by any chance? Mm, yeah, just a moment. It's for you. Bye-bye to the nice man. How dare you. Um, yes. What can I do for you? You can save yourself a lot of trouble and a lot of embarrassment by getting yourself back down here in five minutes, or I'm going to come up there and carry you out over my shoulder. 